Hey everybody. In today's video, um, I want to answer a question somebody emailed me about content management systems. Uh, when you're just starting out, choosing a content management system can be a little bit intimidating because there are a lot of options. Uh, so today I want to tell you my top three content management system choices. So first of all, there's a few things you need to think about. Uh, one is, do you know a developer, somebody who writes code? Are you just a designer? Can you write HTML? Um, it's going to change your options uh, if you don't write code. Uh, second is um, what kind of websites are you going to be selling? Are you dealing with small business? Uh, chances are you're dealing with small business because you're just starting out. Uh, but are you going to be selling e-commerce websites? Um, so that said, these are my top three picks for content management systems. My number one pick for a content management system right now, the one I recommend to everybody just getting going, is Squarespace. The reason I love Squarespace is because you don't actually need any coding skills to get started with it. You can choose a template, you can customize it, and you can add all the client's content, and the client is gonna be super happy with the results of their website, and then you can pass it off and they can make changes, and you don't have to worry about it, and you don't need to work with a developer to sell a Squarespace website. Also, it's not just for small business. Um, I worked with a company in New York on the uh, Destination Cores website, which is actually hosted on Squarespace. We did the front end code, we passed it off, they Squarespace it up using the developer account, and it turned out really well. So Squarespace is not only for small business, you can grow into it. Now, if you do know a developer or you can write code yourself, um, my other two options are WordPress or Drupal. Um, WordPress is started out as a blogging platform, uh, but then it expanded so that people could add modules, and now there's a, a ton of modules available for WordPress, which means you can really build any kind of website on it, but it's likely you're gonna need a developer or at least some knowledge of copying and pasting modules into the code and hosting and that kind of thing. Uh, Drupal is similar to the WordPress, except that it's more of a development framework uh, it wasn't originally designed as a blogging platform. It was originally designed to be a framework for building websites. So it's the most complex of the three options I'm telling you today. If you know a developer or you are a developer, I mean somebody who writes code, then Drupal's actually a really good option for you. Um, a fourth kind of bonus option I'm gonna throw in there for more for my own benefit is uh, my own blogging platform called Postachio. It's an Evernote powered blogging platform. Um, I'll include the link below uh, as well as links to Squarespace and WordPress and Drupal so you can check those out. And uh, yeah, I'd love to hear what you think about this video. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, check out some of my other videos. Uh, lately I've been making videos about getting started at web design, so if you're into that, then subscribe. Thanks.